It's called Petit Le Mans, Little Le Mans, but it's important to know that it's not trying to be Le Mans. It's trying to be something else. It's trying to be itself. And it's got a special place in everybody's heart because of the fact that it is a proper endurance race on a track that demands respect. The Nürburgring is very much like an extended version of the Road Atlanta circuit. It's, you know, five times as long, but the topography of the track is very similar. Manufacturers, both the OEM manufacturers and the sports car manufacturers, the chassis manufacturers and the engine manufacturers realised that what they had here was an opportunity to showcase the very best of their technology. When you look at the hybrid, the 911 hybrid, it's very important to remember this is the first time we've had a Porsche factory car in sports car racing for almost a whole generation now. This hybrid is the new works entry. Debuted in the VLN races and ran, and if it had been the 22 hours of the Nürburgring, of course, would have won. We were just getting our heads around how significant that win would be for motor racing and for the automotive industry as a whole when, unfortunately, another part of the car broke down. It's race day at Road Atlanta for the 13th annual Petit Le Mans. There's two things that the 911 hybrid can do. One, it can go out and prove the technology and improve it. The second thing, and possibly the most important thing, is to change attitudes. It's fast, it's sexy, it's drivable. It has an advantage over other cars that are similar to it. It's huge. What we've got to do here is put that car forward and say, here's part of the solution. It may not be all of the solution, it's certainly not all of the solution for all of the people, but hybrid technology is coming, particularly with petrol engines. They don't look like milk floats, they don't look like golf carts, they're not slow. This is performance hybrid in the same way as other manufacturers have done with diesel. What we're learning is how to harness this power, how to make it usable, and if, goodness me, if we can make that happen in a race car, then it's a damn sight easier when we come back to retrofitting it into a road car and making that work on the street. It's a little bit like a race lab, you know, for us, to, to, for the engineers, you know, to develop further the technology to bring the hybrid technology also over to the US and to show it to the people and also to learn more. The engineers like this also learn something, you know, probably for the road car. So I think it's a good step forward and I'm really a little bit honored as well, you know, to be part of that um, for the first time racing over here in the US. And I think the fans, they will love this car to see. Schedule pit stops. We had, uh, we had a very good team together with Roman and Mike. Also, we're very happy to drive with him again after Le Mans, after Spa that we did. And uh, I think we had a good time here. And uh, I think on the bottom line, we did a good job, I guess. Yeah, we had our difficulties, um, definitely. We are, I would say, not happy with the, with the position we are in. But uh, overall, I would say it's good to finish. Uh, we learned a lot, you know, about the hybrid again. Um, 
you know, for the team it was good, for the mechanics, you know, to get that experience. I was quite, not surprised, but I was quite happy to see how the audience here, the fans and the press and the people, you know, involved in motorsport, how they welcomed us here with that project. So I was quite happy to see. And uh, I mean, the fans were eager to see that car over here running. And, uh, and uh, so, I mean, I think we had quite a good press and, and, uh, and a lot of attention.